That's a fun one. This is nice. I haven't seen that before. That's sh there is? Ah, uh, yes, that is true. Um, which doesn't suck because Ali Manchalka. Um, <laughs> the interesting thing is, is Blaine and Robbie are gonna have a little fling too. So it's gonna be, it's gonna be jealousy from all angles. Um, yeah, it's. Oh, thank you so much. It's gonna be, uh, yeah, it's gonna be a lot of fun to play with that. And I, I love working with both of them. And uh, yeah, looking forward to seeing what they got cooking up for us. The memory loss. I mean, memory loss. I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's uh it, it's continuing. So you don't really know if he's faking or not. You know. Um. And it. I, don't say that. I know. I know. And I. It, you know. I don't really know or, uh, whether he is or not. But. Uh, <laughs> and I like not knowing actually. And I'm glad they haven't told me. <laughs> because I because so I can play it, the truth of it. Um. It is a bit castrating for Blaine. I can say that because Blaine is so fun and he's got these wonderful lines and now that he's like just blank, he's like, what the hell you know? He's kind of lost in the woods, but it's, you know, it's that, that old soap opera trope, that fun thing to play with. That, uh, the way that you play that yeah. memory loss, it's almost unclear if you're actually faking it or not faking it. Yeah. So that's always Maybe I intended that. <laughs> if Lane's not faking, do you think he actually wants his memories back? Um, you know, that's a fucking... That's, sorry. That's a, that's a fucking interesting question. Um, that's an interesting question, because I guess if he, if he isn't faking it, like, he, you know... Well, he's, you know, he's been told about it, right? Ravi Rob, Rob, told him about it, so... He's been in and with it, but yeah, I don't think he would. Yeah, no way. To hear all this terrible stuff that he's done, yeah, no way. Yeah, that was. I'm sorry, that took so long. It wasn't easy. No. But do you see Blaine as being the bad guy, really, or just a little bit more complicated than that? You know, I mean. I've gotten that question a lot throughout the years because all I've ever played is bad guys. It's all I have to draw up on, really, truly. I mean, what? Yeah. There's been a scant few uh, <laughs> protagonists. Um, uh, shit, what was the question? Do you think he's really a bad guy? Yeah, it's a little more complicated. And you can't play... You, know, the bad, you can't play it bad, you know what I mean? The, the bad just comes out. You gotta play it like this is this is his right. You know, he's on the right side of his road, and uh, uh, and you know he's he's gone through a lot. I mean, he's done a lot of terrible things, but a lot of terrible things have been done to him. And daddy issues, you know, the the, the nanny issues. There's, yeah, it was nice to see, you know, uh, get filled in a bit, a little bit more about why he is who he is. So. I don't really know. I mean, they've always had this, uh, you know, they kind of, they don't like each other, but they need each other kind of thing. And uh, I think, I think more of that, we'll, we're going to see more of that. How fun has it been playing this character? Because it's changed so much since the first season. Yeah. Like, the way your character has evolved a little bit. Because towards the end, before you took the cure, you were kind of like doubting which path you were going to take. Yes. With the whole cemetery, uh, you know, mortuary business, zombie stuff, because there was a little bit of ambivalence in your wanting to partner up with certain people. Yeah. Uh, and this, it's been a, it's been a lot of fun. I mean, of course, as an actor, you want to like diversify your portfolio and play as many different characters as possible. So, when you can play a couple different characters within the same character, that's a, only for me. Um, and the weird thing, funny thing about Blaine is he's as close to David Andrews as any character I've ever played. I mean, 
<laughs> I mean, I've only killed like a couple people. <laughs> but, uh, so I mean, they, they really write for our voices as us really well. I think in the writers are really like, you know, Blaine would sound great saying that. You know, I'll sound rad saying that. David sounds rad. That's why they got me singing all the time. <laughs> Diane, because Diane, Diane wants to hear me singing all the time. <laughs> Last question? Last question. Yeah. Nature versus nurture. Yeah, I don't know how to answer that. I'm sorry. <laughs> I truly don't. I'm, I'm blank. I mean, because I'm an idiot. <laughs> Did you simplify it for me? Like nature versus nurture, as far as as far as his upbringing, or? Well, like if he has a memory loss, then how much of him is as evil as maybe we have seen? Right. I, I, this blank slate Blaine seems like a damn softy sweetheart, you know what I mean? Doesn't he? So, I mean, that's that's how he started. And then he started getting locked in dog kennels and shit. Nurture. <laughs> <laughs> Short answer, nurture. You can cut that. You can cut that together, Thank right? you.